Good evening, people. Watch Women 65, Lisa Voice. I'm going to give you the gospel. It's in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ shed his blood for all of our sins, past, present, and future, was buried, and rose again on the third day according to Scripture. We're saved by grace through faith in, in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works. Least any man should boast. You've got to get that scripture down into your into your bowels because it's not about you and it's not about anything you can do to save yourself. It is grace, something we didn't earn, something we don't deserve that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. That's the gospel, period. That's how we're saved. That's how we're kept safe. How do you come to that? You admit you're a sinner in need of Christ. You put your faith and trust in him. You accept him as savior and you're saved. The Holy Spirit will seal you until the day of redemption, which means you cannot lose your salvation. At that point, you're justified by the blood of Jesus. The Holy Spirit will lead you, guide you. He's your best friend. And the Holy Spirit will change you. Period. Things are... How do I say this? Taking a turn for the worse. So, this just came out on the Daily Mail. Came out about, oh, two hours ago. Kremlin says Biden is... Dil diligently adding fuel to the fire by sending advanced rocket systems and munitions to Ukraine and is increasing the risk of a confrontation between the U.S. and Russia. I said this all along. So the Kremlin on today, Wednesday, accused Sleepy Joe Sleepy Creepy, <laughs> demented Joe, of adding fuel to the fire in the war between Russia and Ukraine by pledging to send advanced rockets to Kiev. Kremlin spokesperson Dmitry Peskov said he doesn't trust Ukraine not to fire the weapons into Russia, even though Biden promised that the systems would not be used to shoot targets at Ukraine hostile at Ukraine's hostile eastern or and northern uh, neighbor we believe the United States is purposely and diligently adding fuel to the fire Peskov told reporters on Wednesday the US is obviously holding the line that it will fight Russia to the last Ukrainian this is bad this is this is this is more than bad. This goes beyond anything. When asked how Russia would respond if Ukraine used U.S. supplied rockets to strike on Russian soil, Peskov said, this is what he said. Let's not talk about worst case scenarios. Sleepy Joe agreed as part of a seven hundred million dollar weapons package to provide Ukraine with advanced rocket systems that could strike with precision at long range Russian targets but after receiving assurances that would not use the missiles to strike inside Russia <sighs> the rockets are capable of hitting targets as far as 50 miles Sleepy Joe said Tuesday night that he would be arming Ukraine with more. Can you believe? Yeah, I can believe it. With more advanced rocket systems and munitions in a new op-ed for the New York Times outlining what America will and will not do in Ukraine. White House officials insist that The use of the medium range rocket systems will be restricted to defense to use only in Ukraine. Yeah, right. Sure. 
The Ukrainians have given us assurances that they will not use these systems against targets in Russian territory. Let me read that again. The Ukrainians have given us <laughs> assurances that they will not use these systems against targets in Russian territory. And so based on those assurances, we are very comfortable they will not, a senior White House official said on a call with reporters. Look, if you believe that, you believe the sky is purple. Additionally, the White House said it would not be providing Ukraine with longer range uh, systems. Biden's op-ed was published on the eve of the announcement of the 11th package of security assistance for the war in Ukraine. It goes on to say, we will continue providing Ukraine with advanced weaponry, including Javelin anti-tank missiles, Stinger anti-aircraft missiles, powerful artillery and precision rocket systems, radar, radars, unmanned aerial vehicles, MI-17 helicopters, and ammunition, Biden wrote. That package worth $700 million will include HMARSs, uh, high mobility artillery rocket systems, and ammunition, counterfire radars, a number of air Valens radars, additional javelins, anti-armor weapons, more uh, artillery rounds, s several helicopters, additional tactical vehicles, and, a, and spare parts package, a White House official said. I just have one question. What about Afghan? Oh, that's right. I don't, that, you know, that's old news now. Now, with that being said, let me give you the latest off of war news. Humanity in the worst case scenario. Did I not just say worst, did not one of the spokespeople say worst case scenario? Let's not talk about that. Moscow speaks of extremely negative move that increases the risk of a direct confrontation after the U.S. decision to supply Ukraine with MLRS M142 HIMARS. This is the first time that Moscow has spoken of a direct confrontation that shows an escalation that can spiral out of control. Huh. It already has. Russia is probably thinking of hitting the convoys um, with the high Mars, even in Polish territory. Immediately after the U.S. decision to send Ukraine more weapons, the Russian Ministry of Defense deployed strategic, excuse me, Yars nuclear missiles in combat patrol and dispersal positions. In other words, they're ready to strike Ukraine or the U.S. or who knows. Moscow is preparing for the worst case scenario. Now, did I just not read off the Daily Mail what one of the uh, what White House officials said? Well, let's not talk. Told the reporter. He told the reporter, let's not talk about the worst case scenario. The Ukrainians will be able to hit Russian forces from a safe distance. That is why the unprecedented statements by Moscow 
At the same time, in a last minute information, and Britain intends to give on the part of uh, the missiles that were sent. Russia had said that the U.S. decision to supply advanced MLRS systems and ammunition to Ukraine is extremely, extremely negative and increases the risk of direct confrontation, which is what Washington wants. Don't forget, there's a midterm. Well, mm, mm, who knows? I don't think there will be. Reuters reports that Russian Deputy Foreign Minister Sergei Ryakov told the state-run RIA news agency that Moscow viewed U.S. military assistance to Ukraine as extremely, extremely negative. I almost feel in my heart of hearts there is no way this is going to go out without being nuked without having a nuke. I'm going to link both of these articles in the description box. I have some articles on my blog that you are going to want to look at. I'm telling you. It's like a movie. It's like a nightmare that's being done. But I'm going to link this uh, article and the other article in the description box. If anything else comes up, I'll be back. I'll be back. Thank you.